The Eastwood Mall complex in Niles is one of, if not the largest, contiguous retail development under one owner in the U.S., and it's about to get even bigger. Just beyond the outfield fence of Eastwood Field sits 105 acres of land recently purchased for development by the Cafaro Company. We've been told uh, that there is a, a increasing demand for, for business parks here in Trumbull County and there really isn't much of an opportunity and we think we can create a very modern, modern uh, environment for that. Co-President Anthony Cafaro Jr. says the project, called Enterprise Park at Eastwood, is a glimpse of where the complex is headed in the future. We're looking at uh, health care, um, residential uh, condos, apartments, um, office uses, um, something that's unique for this area. But development at the complex isn't limited to Enterprise Park. By the end of the month, the company plans to begin a several million dollar renovation of the Eastwood Mall, and a new Hampton Inn and Suites is set to open its doors in September. You know, all that is going on at the same time as we're focusing also on uh, the Eastwood Event Center, which we hope to have open sometime uh, about this time next year. It's likely all of this would have been unimaginable for the late William M. Cafaro when he cut the ribbon on the mall in 1969 with Miss USA in attendance. I think you'd be extremely proud um, of, of what, is, what we've been able to accomplish as a family um, and quite frankly how the area supported uh, you know, what we've developed. Some of the first anchor tenants included Sears, Montgomery Ward and Woolworth. We've tried to keep with the times keep fresh. While Sears is still there, most of the other tenants have been replaced by more modern retailers. But national chains aren't the only ones finding success at Eastwood. Custom framing, we transfer videotape to DVD. Among the local tenants is Image Arts. When we started years ago, everybody said go out and get into a strip mall, but we were probably one of the few organizations like this that started out in a mall. And the Cafaro people have been very good with us. They work with us so we could create the business. We have literally three million square feet of retail and restaurant offerings all within you know, eyesight. Um, it's unique and it really is not something you see elsewhere. It's estimated about 40,000 people visit the Eastwood Mall complex per day. Our peer competitors in the Boardman area, if you look at it, that's a five to seven mile stretch of, of retail and restaurants from Poland to Canfield. And depending upon the time of day, time of year, that can take 30, 40 minutes to get from one end of the um, 224 to the other. Uh, here, you know, that really isn't a challenge. What is, Cafaro says, is dealing with the growing trend of online shopping. One of the ways he plans to meet it is by increasing the number of restaurants. Dining is something that certainly you cannot do on your smartphone. So once again, the mall is looking to change with the times. I wouldn't be surprised to see a, a full-scale grocery store as one of the anchors to the mall instead of a traditional you know, uh, fashion anchor. That experiential element of what makes a shopping mall you know, a mall. And maybe the term shopping is not even affiliated directly with a mall in the future.